Hi, this is Sachleen Singh, Technical Evangelist at Autodesk, and today I wanted to show you the Parameter Input Output app available on the Fusion App Exchange Store. So what I have here is a basic parametric model of a sitting bench that I've driven through some user parameters that I have set up. Let's take a look at how this is set up. I have things like width, seat, length, which is basically the length of the bench from end to end, um, and a few other user parameters set up, and those are driving um, a lot of the other dimensions and parameters within this model, either those or more complicated formulas uh, around those user parameters. So let's go ahead and change that 12 inch width to 24. And you see that immediately that bench updates to reflect that change. Let's now change the seat length from 30 to something maybe a little bit larger. And you notice that that change automatically happens as well. So parameters are a really neat way to drive your design and have your design intent be reflected immediately. I'm going to go ahead and share a link, a public link to this design so you can download the model and um, go ahead and play with the parameters and be able to edit them as you wish, as well as try out the app that we'll be looking at. Let's take that model back to its original dimensions. So in addition to the parameter table, there is an exchange app that's in the Autodesk App Exchange Store that's available for Fusion 360 to be able to do the same thing through a CSV file. So to access the App Store, I want to go to Add-ins and Autodesk Exchange Apps, and that will basically open a web browser for me, which will list all of the apps available for Fusion 360. Typically, it shows me some featured apps and the most popular apps on the, on the home page, but I want to be able to go to see Show All. It's what I usually do to look at all the apps available for Fusion. And I can scroll down to take a look at everything that is available. I believe there's two pages of apps, and there's the parameter app that I'm looking for. All it does is it exports a CSV of the parameters that you have set up. You could change them in the CSV, save it, and re-import it, and it edits the model based on the import. So I'm going to go ahead and download this app from the App Store. It's a simple download. I'm using Chrome, and then you could run it. It takes a minute to install, relaunch Fusion, and you're good to go. I already have this installed, so let's take a look at it. I could either access it right through the top menu or within the modify dropdown. Let's go ahead. The first thing I want to do is export. So I'm going to go ahead and say no. I want to export the user parameters I already have set up in this model, um, and I'm going to rewrite the file I was using. it. So once I have them exported, I can go ahead and open the CSV. I've had more luck opening the CSV in Notepad. So I'm going to go ahead and open it with Notepad rather than opening it in Excel. And there's our basic format CSV, which is pretty easy to read. The top few are user parameters. So let's go ahead and look at the width. I don't want to um, mess with the formatting of the CSV, but I just want to be able to change the numbers. So instead of the 12 inches, let's make that 24. Go ahead and save it and quickly import it back into Fusion. So for import, say yes, indicate the file, and you'll notice that the model takes just a couple of seconds and it reflects the changes that you just told it to. And it'll show you a quick dialog saying that that's been changed. Fantastic. Let's go back to the CSV and let's change the seat length as well. Let's change it to something different this time. 45, save, re-import. And this is a really neat way to be able to give somebody else access to your model parameters so they can drive the CSV and have input in the design while they might not have access to Fusion directly. So you could share the CSV a little bit more broadly and it's another way to drive um, the parameters in your model from outside of Fusion. So that is the Parameter Input Output app for Fusion 360. I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for watching.